and um, he was raised in a Jewish uh, quarter of Krakow. But when Carol Cott was eight years old, his sister was born. I think that really did unsettle him quite a lot because he's been used to being the centre of attention for eight years. He feels that she's the favoured one. And whether or not that's true, um, often when we look at dynamics in families, it's not what parents are doing or not doing, it's how children are perceiving that. So I think he felt pushed out, I think he felt slighted right from the beginning. Later, Carol Cott said that his parents loved her more than him. He said, that's why he abused her. He tried to introduce military order at home. I think Cott's relationship with his sister is a warning sign. And this was the beginning, I think, of a process for Cott, um, a process of expressing himself in, in a dysfunctional way when things weren't going as he wanted them to go. And it's one that, that escalates slowly over time. Another sign that all was not well with the boy was his cruelty to animals. They had two cats in the house, and he was, like, treating cats badly. He was throwing them at the walls, things like that. Often when we look back at the childhoods of serial killers, we see some form of, of harm, some form of abuse towards animals. And, and this is something that individuals do to maintain some control, because they have feelings of, of trauma, of anxiety, of, of basically feeling slighted, of feeling left out. On family holidays to the village of Pachim, 30 miles south of Krakow, Cott developed an unnatural passion. He developed a fascination with slaughterhouses. On holiday, he would go with his parents and ask to go to the slaughterhouse. Now, this is quite unusual in a young man of 10, 11, 12. That's when he understood that he loves blood. He's fascinating with blood. He was talking about it like um, he noticed that blood is still warm. It was alive just a moment ago, and it's, that it was something very special for him. One of the most extraordinary incidents when he was in the slaughterhouse was that the slaughterman drained blood into a cup and passed it to him for him to drink. They thought this boy would simply freak out. He did exactly the opposite. He drank the blood which in turn freaked them out. Here's a child who, who goes on family ho holidays to the countryside, and what, what do normal children do? What are they interested in? They're interested in playing, running through the woods, maybe picking flowers, right? Uh, swimming if it's possible. What does Carol Cott want to do? He wants to slice up an animal, and he wants to drink the animal's blood, and he wants to do it in front of people, and he wants them to be entertained by it or amazed by it. This is extraordinarily rare behavior. At the same time, young Carol Cott developed a disturbing fetish. He said that knife was like his biggest love uh, he can think of. He was admiring uh, knives. He actually can speak uh, in surprisingly sophisticated language about knives. Cott's rare obsession would soon prove deadly. This is uh, a weapon. This is something that he can use to threaten other people.